Hi, welcome to this video on using MS Excel for descriptive statistics. I am Piyush and we will talk about histograms. Uh, a disclaimer first, the histogram from Excel is not perfect as per the statistics theory. The histogram should look something like this. Let me fix this so that we can explain. The histogram should not have gap between the bars, so the x-axis should be a continuous variable and the width of each of these bars is different depending on the class interval. From Excel we get a histogram which looks something more like a bar chart. So, so while this is not perfectly accurate, it is good enough to increase the speed of work and make the analysis necessary for taking decisions. So let's jump into the data. We again come to this data which is about the per capita GDP of 185 countries. We had used the same data in our previous video to talk about descriptive statistics. So we have, now we need to make a histogram for these 185 countries. The first thing we always do is to name the data points. So I put the cursor on Afghanistan's GDP which is 621.745 US dollars. Press the key shift, control and the down arrow key together to select the entire column. On this name box here on the left top, I select it and write PC underscore GDP to denote the per capita GDP and press enter. So this, this entire set of data has now the name of PC underscore GDP. I start by first finding the maximum and then the minimum and then the range which is nothing but the maximum minus the minimum. So the maximum data in this would be equal to max of PC underscore GDP bracket closed. The minimum is equal to minimum of PC underscore GDP bracket closed. In case the numbers are not visible, you could make this into full screen video so that you can e see it more easily. And the range would be equal to the maximum minus the minimum. Alright, so the range is around 100,000, 100,000 US dollars between the minimum per capita GDP and the maximum per capita GDP. Now, so what we do here is first decide the number of class intervals. So number um, of intervals is what we need to decide. Uh, generally we have between 4 to 10 intervals. Uh, there is no fixed rule on how many intervals to have. So let me assume that I go ahead with 10 intervals. Um, so the value of one interval would be equal to this number which is the range, the total variation divided by the number. So there has to be approximately 10,000 US dollars in one interval. So I define the bins here, uh, the bins which talk about the intervals. We will bold this. The first bin is from 0 to 10,000 US dollars. The second bin is from 10,001 to or 10,000 point something to 20,000. And then I select and uh, drag it to 11,000 which is the largest number. Uh, we would have 11 intervals and not 10. That would not matter as much. These numbers I select and give them a name. I give them a name of bins. And then we go to data, data analysis, histogram and say OK. The histogram here would be our PC underscore GDP. The bin range would be bins, the name that we have given them. The output, I would want it to be somewhere here. And I would want a cumulative chart output and a chart output. Cumulative percentage chart output, we will not look at Pareto and then say OK. So this is what we have. Uh, let me increase the font size so that we can see it better. So we have between 0 to 10,000 including 10,000 we have 119 countries out of the total 185 which is 64.32 percent of the total. From 10,000 greater than 10,000 up till 20,000 we have 26 countries 
and cumulative both of them together this is cumulative both of them together so from 0 to 20,000 we have 78 percent of the countries so from 0 to 30,000 we have 85.41 percent of the countries so this is a very simple tabular description of the data and what we have here let me bring it here is the histogram so if I expand this to make it a bit more clear we see that between 0 to 10,000 we have 119 approximately which is similar to uh, what has been given to us here 20,000 is about 25, 26 we can see this here it's 26 which is what is said here uh, to more than 20,000 and equal to 30,000 in that bin we have 13 which is given here and so on and this is the cumulative percentage which is nothing but this so this is a way to make histograms on Microsoft Excel uh, in practice with any data and it be still it becomes simple for you thank you